Rich, thanks for joining us. Give us a bit of background on your journey and where it started in MMA and combat sport. I started at nine years old. I got introduced to martial arts through Muay Thai, where I trained in uh, Malaysia and Thailand uh, for quite a few years and competed there. I then uh, had the opportunity to immigrate to the US um, and that's where I kind of got introduced to mixed martial arts, introduced to the ground systems like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and wrestling. Um, and in the US, I kind of dabbled in some coaching with some of the fighters there and all of a sudden the next thing I was full-time coaching there. So it wasn't kind of, uh, I was forced into it in a way, but um, you know, it, it, it was for the best. I, I believe I'm a better coach than, than an athlete. Uh, from there, I moved back to the, uh, South Africa and when I came to South Africa, I didn't see much uh, interest in mixed martial arts in the country. It was very small, very young. So I opened up my first gym uh, when I got back here um, at about 22 and the rest is history you know and standing now with Five Fit Militia and Gracie Bar Sunning Hill uh, being the most dominant uh, mixed martial arts school in Africa and yeah I'm, I'm loving it I'm loving being a coach more than anything. And give us a bit of a description of how that's evolved for you from from where you started coaching to where you are today. Um, I think even a year from now it will be different. Um, as a coach, I got to study all the time, evolve all the time. Um, there was a lot of experimenting back in the days, um, taking different methods and understanding, uh, trying to understand athletes better. And the early days was, was tough, it was rough, you know, um, trying to experiment what works, what doesn't work. Uh, fast forward to now, 10 years later nearly, I think I've got a great system. Um, it's more on edu education and not on such, such a hard work grind ethic. Um, we use a lot more knowledge and science to make uh, fighters understand what they need to do, um, not trying to get them to run through walls every day. So in terms of that, it's, ch it's changed quite a lot. In terms of myself, I've matured a lot as a coach. Um, you know, try not be stagnant, try not be egotistical. Um, just trying to learn different things every day and just trying to better every day 1% better it uh, as a coach because if I better as a coach then my, my athletes are going to better at athletes every day. And I think a lot of people have seen FFM of today and the last couple of years but if you'll give us also the progression of FFM from where it started and where it is today. FFM was a very small community gym. Um, the same thing we kind of fell into the fight scene. Um, we had one uh, individual that wanted to fight and it kind of just like lit a fire from there and all of a sudden we had the biggest team of, of professional athletes competing in EFC and um, you know we were very focused on, 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 on athletes, on MMA athletes. We're kind of now, I've got my system for people that want to be professional MMA athletes and I'm focusing a lot more on the community and general classes, the average Joe that wants to come in, train, put his suit on, go to work. Um, I'm kind of um, got a balance now. Uh, I've balanced the, the professional scene and I've balanced the community and the general average growth scene. So I think the, the, the gym is in, in a really good space right now in terms of we understand both sides of, of the party and it's not so focused on, on athletes at its own, you know, it, uh, that kind of consumes you. Um, so we have, we have a gr great, great skill set of general community guys that could compete if they wanted. Because how, how I coach a professional athlete doesn't differ from how I coach a guy that has a nine to five job. Um, it's the same coaching. Uh, it's just one chooses one path and the other chooses the other path. So I think uh, FFM with Gracie Bar signing on now, we've got a good balance of that. And give us your standout moments as a coach. Well, definitely I, I've got a few that stand out quite a bit. I mean, a few years ago I was, did an article and explaining that I want one of my biggest goals in South Africa when I, when I came to this country was that I wanted to create the first UFC bred trained out of South Africa in the UFC and, my in, and guys competing overseas um, and doing well. And, uh, you know, right now, you know, I did. I got the first guy, Gareth McClellan, uh, to win in the, in the UFC, that was a, a big highlight of me. And then just all my boys, you know, uh, guys that are going over, JP Bass, Chad Hanukorp, um, Demart, uh, Boyd Allen, all of these guys that are going overseas now as well and competing and doing well. And that at the end of the day was, was, my, was my second goal. The first goal was to, to dominate the, the South African MMA scene, which we did. 
and uh, now it's just to go overseas and prove yourself that and you know it takes time and you know um, getting my steps forward to there so that was definitely a standing out point for me as a coach. And for those that don't know and want to get in touch with you, where can they find you? Uh, we can find us on uh, all the social media platforms, Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter, and Fight Fit Militia or Gracie Bar Sunning Hill. Thanks, Rich. Cool.